Hey, what up, Flow Fam? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lux Luminous, and today we are talking about fire drums. Yes, my friends, we're reviewing the creme de la creme of fire festivals in the United States. Since, you know, I was one of the photographers this year, I'm gonna show you some of the awesome photos I got at fire drums so you can actually see what I'm talking about as I'm reviewing this event. But of course, before we jump into things, make sure to subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, leave me a comment, and do not forget to hit those notification bells. That way you get notified when I post new content. So before we jump into things, I just wanna say FAI and fire drums did not pay me to review this festival. Um, I'm doing it out of my own free will, so just so you know, that way you know this is going to be an honest review. <laughs> Alright, well without further ado, it's a Lux Luminous Festival review time. Oh, thank you, thank you my friends, I know. Oh, oh. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about the venue. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is one of my favorite venues out of all the flow festivals I've been to. There's a few others that are like really good too, but this is one of my favorites. So it's up in Northern California at the Blue Mountain Event Center, and it is amazing. They have Redwoods on site. So there's something about the venue that I don't see talked a lot about or like shown a lot about, but there is like lots of water on site. There's a creek that runs through the entire property and you can actually camp near it. So even when the temperatures are like up in the 90s and it's freaking sweltering hot outside, you can go down towards the creek and cool off like it's fresh, clean mountain water. So it is super crisp. Getting in the water, you can only stay in the water for so long before you are freezing your butt off. So during the day when people aren't doing workshops, you'll see a lot of people down there. And honestly, hot tip, if you have a hammock, bring your hammock because you are definitely going to want to set up that hammock near the water so that way you can have that nice, cool, cool, cool swimming area. It's the best. I don't know of any other flow fest that has like super clean, beautiful water that you actually want to swim in. There's a few venues that have like lakes and ponds and things, but honestly, I wouldn't really want to get into them. And there's even this like secret waterfall that you could like kind of hike up to. It's about like a like a 10, 15 minute hike up the, the stream. And that's where a lot of people go and they like hang out in these little waterfalls. It's incredible. I actually took my camera out there and honestly, I was wicked nervous about it but I'm glad I made it through and got some of these shots. <laughs> so I want to talk about the accessibility of the land. Um, you could bring a wheelchair on the property. The land is fairly flat. You can get to all the workshops and things like that very easily. But if you are planning to bring a wheelchair out, it wouldn't hurt like sending fire drums a message and be like, hey, you know, I'm coming out, you know, making sure that things are proper so that way you can move easily or if you need help or anything that staff will be able to assist you. But for the most part, very flat land, no big hills, it's pretty good. So Fire Drums actually offers ADA support. So again, send them an email and they'll be able to set you up. They also had a gator vehicle, which if you don't know what that is, think of like kind of like a big old uh, like golf cart that's like kind of like just large. So they were able to use that to be able to cart people around that needed to be moved around. So if you need that, again, email them. So if you are a person that has to have refrigerated medication on site, um, they do have a medical staff that they have like coolers there. So if that is something that you would need or want, uh, again, reach out to the fire drum staff beforehand, let them know like what your needs are because they are more than happy to make sure that you are happy and healthy and safe to be able to come to fire drums because their big thing is they want anybody and everybody to be able to come and share the floor arts because floor arts is for everybody. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the workshops. So this year they offered around 120 workshops. Yes, my friends, check out this workshop schedule. It is large. There are 12 different class slots going at one time for most of the day. So it is packed full of all kinds of things that you could learn. And there's lots of interesting, amazing things to learn. Honestly, there was like a whole class on just bubbles. 
Excuse me, that sounds a, like a lot of fun. And honestly, it was really cute. So with the workshops, there's literally anything for anyone. And especially for beginners and advanced and people in the middle. Don't feel like because you're not a super skilled performer, uh, that you can't come to fire drums, or if you are a super skilled performer, that you can't come to fire drums because it's too beginnery. It's it's not. It's honestly, it's got a good mix of everybody that you can think of. All right, let's talk about the best part of fire drums, the fire circle. Ooh, ah, it's so hot. This is what makes fire drums fire drums. It is one of the craziest fire circles I have ever seen in my life, and I've been doing flow arts for 13 years. I've been around the block and no fire circle throws down quite as hard. There are all kinds of people out there spinning, spinning all kinds of props, props I had never seen before, props that I've seen a bunch, but like doing some like crazy things with. And sometimes it's uh, upwards of a hundred people spinning at once. It's crazy. And it's super amazing to be able to sit around the fire circle with your friends and watch people just like really throw down some of the most skilled performers in the world. And it is, you know, honestly, it's such a delight to get to meet and interact with all these different performers. I've met people from Malaysia, Australia, Japan, Prague, France, everywhere. Cause like flow arts is from everywhere. And because fire drums is such the pinnacle of fire spinning in the United States, People from everywhere like come and flock pilgrimage to fire drums. But of course, if this is your first time like spinning fire or going to a fire festival, they are really kind with first time spinners. They, they of course offer a fire safety class before the fire circle opens each day. So you can go and learn how to like safely put out somebody, how to spin the fire, like how to do everything to make sure that you're safe and like your friends are safe because you want to make sure that everybody is safe when you're doing these things because like, yes, fire spinning isn't like the most dangerous thing in the world, but you can get severely, severely hurt or even die. I, I personally have known someone to die. Um, it's not good. It, it's very sad and you don't want to end up like that or have a friend end up like that. So do take the fire safety class. And for those of you who have never spun before and want to like do that with a trained professional they do have a virgin burn where you can do that with someone and be like okay you know this is how you dip your your props and now you're gonna go out and like go spin for the first time and you're gonna have a trained professional there with the safety equipment and everything so that way you're really extra safe and you're taken care of because fire drums and their staff want to make sure that you're safe and you're having fun while you do it all right let's talk about the showcase <laughs> okay i love Love, 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 love Fire Drums' showcase. They always throw a banger every year. We love it. Get to see some crazy acts. I've seen uh, just the, the best performances ever. Performances that I will probably remember for the rest of my life. So on Saturday night, they have a showcase of the instructors that they have brought out to perform for the the whole festival and it's usually about an hour or two long depending on how many acts they have and it's just banger after banger after banger it's just super cool getting to see these super professional circus acts sometimes they have like circ performers come out sometimes they have like amazing jugglers like Wes Peden and you know all kinds of different people like come out to perform and it is a treat I could literally watch these performances for the rest of my life and be quite happy. So of course, bring yourself a folding chair or a blanket, you know, something to sit on, maybe some snacks. Make sure you go to the bathroom before the show starts because you do not want to get up. You do not want to miss a dang thing. All right, so let's talk about what it's going to cost you to be able to get into this event. So this year it was $220. Uh, and each year is kind of different. Some years they'll have sales or tier tickets uh, and things like that. So make sure you're following them on Instagram, on Facebook, so that way you are made aware of when sales happen or if they are doing tier tickets, that way you can save some money. Because we all know things are a little expensive right now. But a really amazing thing uh, that they did this year was they gave away some free tickets to BIPOC people. So if you are BIPOC or know somebody who's BIPOC, let them know. <laughs> they want to be as inclusive as humanly possible and bring in all the people. All right, so my final thoughts. 
Fire Travis is amazing. You should go. <laughs> that is my final thoughts. 100% go. Tell your friends. Tell your auntie. Tell your brothers, your sisters, everybody. Uh, go to Fire Drums. Like, be a part of the scene, man. Like, it is a such a delight. Honestly, it is a bucket list festival. So if you, you know, haven't made it out there, try to make it out there. And if you live in California, go out there. Do the thing. What are you doing? Stop this. Honestly, if I could go to Fire Drums every single year, if they would have me, um, hint, hint, Fire Drums, please hire me forever. It is, it's definitely one that I'd be like, yes. I'll go every year, sure. <laughs> so next year is actually Fire Trumps' 20th anniversary. You heard me right. Fire Trumps has been around for 20 years. Where is the time gone? Ah! So if you're debating going next year, you should go next year because 20 years, you gotta celebrate. Maybe spend some fire about it, I don't know. <laughs> and of course this channel is brought to you by literally the most amazing people in my life and that is my Patreon supporters. And if you wanna become a Patreon supporter, you can head on over to my Patreon where you can become a member or you can head on over to my website, luxluminous.com where I have lots of fun flow arts related merch that uh, every little bit of money goes directly into funding this channel. And we also have the wizards of the channel. And the wizards of the channel are Flow Toys, Astro Hoops, Fun Emotion Toys, Pyrotair, Light Toys, Flow on Fire, and Flow Fest. Thank you, my friends. If you're new or lurking, welcome to the wand life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, always leave a comment down below and I will help you out. See you all on the wand side.